Princess of Wales, who was reportedly very sad last night as she faced criticism for her badly edited, edited family photo. Kate's now infamous Mother's Day snap is believed to have been edited on a computer three times. And after picture agencies issued a dreaded kill notice for the image, Kate and Wills were spotted leaving Windsor yesterday with the princess turned away from photographers. Well, joining us now to discuss this and all the other royal goss is our favourite commentator and former correspondent, Michael Cole. Hello, Michael Cole. You should be Sir Michael Cole, can I just say? It would Only be a matter of time, thing, Michael. Very Only a matter of time. Uh, for a man of your no magnitude. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about this photo. So I, I was sort of like, whoa, what's going on here? Is it a fake photo? Was it from last year? Da, 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 da. Uh, really going down the wormhole like uh, most other people and um, my best mate said to me yesterday she's got four teenage daughters and she went you know what Alex you know what it's like when you take a photo and you look at yourself and you think blimey I look ghoulish I look like you know some sort of you know mi missing member of kiss from the 1960s who's rolled up after an all-night binge um, and so you get the old editing out and she said with four kids it's an even more complex job because if you're trying to all pose together you can bet your bottom dollar one's got a finger up their nose the other one's pulling a <laughs> stupid face and so maybe this is all that happened kate the most recognizable woman in the world feels she's got to put out a photo because there's rumors that she's actually dead uh, takes about 15 in the hope one of them turns out okay and realizes that none of them were okay but an amalgamation of all of them might do the trick because it's always important to keep things amateur isn't it uh, michael mm -hmm. in these respects what's yeah, your yeah, take yeah, no. Alex, uh, Alex, uh, you would always look lovely in every photograph. Uh, and Kevin sitting beside you, you look, you look the best pair on television. Thank as far as I'm much. concerned, that's the truth. Well, see, I now, thought look, you were being I genuine feel... then until you said about him. Now I know you're just talking <laughs> out your rear end. <laughs> no, but seriously, feel... seriously, Michael, the, the, uh, Alex's, no, listen, take Alex's point. My point is, I cannot believe that Kensington Palace allowed this process to be so amateur. Oh, First of all, goodness. bring in a professional photographer, get it professionally edited, because all photographs are edited in the end, and then we wouldn't have any of this problem. What are they thinking? Alex, you've said it. Uh, let me just say, I feel sorry for the Princess of Wales. Uh, 13 years ago, next month, uh, she came into the royal family. Uh, she hasn't put a foot wrong. But my goodness, she's made an egregious error here. Uh, the ramifications of that will be going on and on, and it is badly damaging the uh, credibility of the royal family. But where, as you say, where were the people who should have stopped this from happening? The Kensington Palace private office, they've got highly paid people who are supposed to be PR professionals. Where were they? Were they asleep at the wheel? Because uh, Sunday this happened, was that a factor? Was there actually anybody on duty at Kensington Palace? Because in a press office, there's got to be somebody, the abominable no man, the man who has got the strength of character and the authority to say no to an idea, to say no to this photograph, which should have been intimately and extensively examined before it was released. Even if it's going to put out the nose out of joint of your principles, the people you're working for, the Prince and Princess of Wales. You have to say, this photograph cannot go out. It is a disaster. That is what those people are there for. This is the single biggest failure of royal PR I can ever remember. And I wrote my first royal story for a local weekly paper in Nottingham in 1962, which uh, was 62 years ago. And I went round the world with the royal family and I worked with the people who worked in the press office. In those days, they weren't terribly well paid. They were usually former diplomats, but they were certainly a lot better equipped for dealing with these things than the people they've hired in who seemed to be not on deck, not on the quarter deck when they were needed. And what has the result been? The result has been the opprobrium uh, and the embarrassment uh, to the Princess of Wales. Uh, she should have had somebody there saying, this is never going to pass muster. People at the news agencies, the most prestigious news agencies in the world, Reuters and AP, and I can say that because I used to work for their big rival, UPI, they're there to detect dodgy photographs. This is the age of fake news and artificial intelligence. And it's very, very important when they're getting pictures in from war zones, Gaza, Ukraine, or wherever, 
where there are warring factions seeking to uh, make propaganda by putting forward their images of events uh, to be detected and to be deleted. Now, of course, Windsor Castle is a very long way from the war front, but the same principles apply because uh, truth uh, is absolute. Uh, and once it starts to be compromised, credibility goes out the door with it. And if you damage the credibility, what's going to happen? Well, human nature being what it is, people will say, well, if, if we can't believe this photograph, can we actually believe the bulletins when they tell us that charming lady we see in the middle of that picture about her health, about her welfare? Exactly. Can we really believe it? Are we being had? Yeah, I, th and, I and think, that Michael, a very, very serious thing. There's, there's been a sort of bond of trust, which hopefully just temporarily uh, has been broken. Piers Morgan, our esteemed colleague, and others have said this as well, and I totally agree, uh, we could get out of this mess if they just released the original picture and said, look, this was cool. it, this is what she edited. Look, you can see her hairs all over the place. That's what yeah. she tried to do. Why do you think it is that Kensington Palace won't do that? Because what it's leading to is speculation that this photograph doesn't actually exist and that what we were yeah. uh, foisted, what was foisted upon us was just a composite with uh, rather suspiciously unseasonal trees in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah look, absolutely. And I, on this very channel, called for that right at the very beginning that they should release the original. But to take up Alex's brilliant point earlier, OK, the father took the picture. Fathers always take bad pictures. If they put out a picture and said, it was taken by Prince William and look how terrible it is, but it's us, we're happy, we're at home. Uh, we don't care about the imperfections in the image. This is us. Wouldn't have that been brilliant because everybody could have related to it. Everybody could have understood that because that's what happens in real life. This is the worst of all. Uh, it is a grade A disaster, I have to tell you, because it may seem trivial, but behind it all, there is this matter, which you mentioned, Kevin, of trust. And trust takes years to build up and be, can, can be gone in, a, in an instance. And trickery of this kind, people don't like to be subjected to it. They do not like to be tricked unless they're uh, watching a magician. He's being paid on the stage to bring rabbits out of a hatch, uh, which is what I think Boris Johnson's being hired for at the moment, isn't <laughs> it? Uh, but, uh, but, you know, so uh, it, everything they could have done, they did wrong. But I don't know whether heads will roll, but somebody is responsible for this because what were they doing? This was a very, very significant photograph. Mm. It was being put out for two things, for, for Mother's Day, a lovely picture, but it was also being put out to answer the trolls who've been spreading cruel, uh, horrible, nasty uh, and ridiculous uh, rumours about the health. And it's failed to do that, Bucks. Michael. It's failed to do that spectacularly. Yeah, put oil on of course. It, Hans, we're in a real mess. We have to go now, Michael, but uh, always a Thanks, pleasure Michael. to talk to you. Thank you so much. For